Welcome to Liesl's Artistic Studio. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint this fun and festive St. Patrick's Day gnome with watercolors. To paint this gnome, we first need a drawing of it. So you can subscribe to my channel and watch my short three minute tutorial on how to draw this super easy gnome step by step. I have my gnome drawn lightly with pencil on an eight by 10 sheet of watercolor paper so I can frame it and hang it when I'm finished. Next, I have my watercolor paints mixed with some water and all ready to go. The colors I'll be using today are red, orange, yellow, black, yellow green, a dark green, which is green mixed with a touch of black. Then I have green, blue, purple, and orange again. Only this orange is mixed with extra water so that it will be a light color that I can use for the gnome's skin. Then of course, I have a glass of clean water, a paper towel, a medium flat brush I'll use for a wash. This just makes the process a little quicker, but any brush you have will do. I have a thin round brush for small spaces or the grass, and a slightly larger round brush for the larger areas, and last but not least, I have a fine point Sharpie marker that I will use at the very end for the outline. So the first thing we'll do is paint the rainbow. This will be done with the wet on wet technique, which means we will paint the area of our rainbow using just water first, then we'll add the color. After your rainbow is painted with water, use a round brush and start adding your colors and curved lines one at a time and allow the colors to slightly blend with each other. Now, funny story, I realized later after my rainbow was all painted that I did my colors backwards. I started with red when I should have started with purple. So you can do yours any way you want. Now let's paint the gnome. Starting with the left side of the hat, I'm going to paint half of the hat with water. Then on the right side, I'm going to start painting with my yellow green and work the paint towards the other side that's painted with water. This technique helps you get a dark side and a light side, and it makes it look like light and shadow. You can even go back in while it's still wet and just add a touch more color to the shadow side if you need it to be a little darker. Now do the same thing with the same color to the brim of the hat and the shoes. Now here's a tip. Something I do if there's too much color or too much water on my painting, I just take my clean brush, I wipe it on my paper towel, then dab my brush on the painting where there's too much color or water, and the brush will soak up some of it. Then you can wipe your brush on your paper towel and you can do it over again until you get the look you want. Now clean your brush and do the same technique to the bill on the hat with black. Next, let's paint the clothes of the gnome, the sleeve and the body a dark green, using the same technique as before. Now make sure that all you've painted is dry, and then you can paint the buckle with yellow, the gnome's nose and hands with your light orange that was mixed with extra water, and then the beard of the gnome with orange. Now using your pure green color, paint all of the clovers and the blades of grass. Next, I'm going to paint a grassy area under the blades of grass. So first, I'll paint the area with water only. Then I'll add in green and maybe a touch of yellow green and spread it around. Now the last thing I'm going to do, which is optional, it just depends on the look you want in the end, 
I'm going to use my Sharpie marker and draw the stems of the clovers, some outlines around the gnome and the clovers to make them stand out a little bit from the rainbow. And here is your cute and easy hand-painted gnome. All that's left to do is frame and hang it to show off and enjoy. I hope you watch more of my videos and don't forget to subscribe so you can be the first to see my awesome upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching.